Hello viewers, in this video we will demonstrate a conjugate heat transfer simulation in a channel with protrusions. In this problem, there is a rectangular channel in which there are some protrusions, which are allened at an angle of 45 degrees to the flow velocity. Water enters at a velocity of 0.00835 meters per second and temperature of 295 Kelvin. There is a constant heat flux from the heater wall at a 12,500 watt per meter square. Find out the temperature distribution, surface nusselt number and skin friction coefficient on the heater surface. From this tutorial you would learn how to set up a conjugate heat transfer problem. How to mesh the geometry using sweep meshing method. How to plot a reference line along any boundary surface. How to find out the surface nusselt number plot skin friction coefficient on a protruded surface. Before we start the tutorial, it's a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications of our new uploads. This is the part 1 of the tutorial. In this, we will see how to create the geometry and meshing. Open the ANSI's workbench window, double-click on Fluid Flow, Fluent, or drag it into the project schematic. Right-click on Geometry and select New Design Modeler Geometry. Select the default unit as millimeter. Select the ZX plane. Click on Y axis to make the sketch normal to the screen. Now draw a rectangle in this plane. Put the dimensions. Enter the value of the dimension in the details view. Click on Generate. Sketch is complete. Select the Extrude option. Select the sketch and click on Apply, select Add Frozen Operation, so the geometry will not unite with any other geometries. Extrude the sketch up to 4 mm along the Y direction. Select the top surface of the geometry and click on Sketching, a new sketch plane, then be created on that selected surface. Now draw the profile of the protrusions on this part. Put the dimensions to the sketch. It is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the fluid flow direction. So put the angle dimension. Click on Generate to complete the sketch. Select the Extrude option, select the sketch and click on Apply. Select the Add Frozen option and put the extrusion depth. Go to Create Menu and select the Pattern option. Select the Protrusion, click on Apply. Select the Pattern Direction.
the offset between copies and the number of copies. Click on Generate. Now, select all the geometry and do the boolean to unite all into a single part. Click on Generate. This is the heater plate geometry. Now we would create the fluid domain over this geometry. Select the XY plane and select sketching. Draw a rectangle. Put the dimensions. Extrude the sketch to create the fluid domain. Now we need to separate the heater plate geometry from the fluid domain. For this we need to do the boolean operation again to subtract the heater plate from the fluid domain. Now, select the two bodies and make it one part. By doing so, it will generate a conformal meshing with no contact regions between the two bodies. Close the geometry and proceed for meshing. Right-click on Mesh and select Edit. In the tree outline, right-click on Mesh. Click on Insert and select the method. Select the two bodies as the geometry, click on Apply. In the method definition, select the Sweep option. Insert a mesh sizing on the protrusion edges. Select the Edge Selection option and select all the edges to which we will provide edge sizing. Choose the type as Number of Divisions. Put the Number of Divisions. Select the Mesh Behavior as Hard. Insert sizing again for the other edges.
Go to Mesh Sizing and turn on the Adaptive Sizing option, it will distribute the cells properly. Right-click on Mesh and select Generate Mesh. Go to the default mesh quality setting and choose high smoothing to get a better mesh. Select the boundary surfaces and put the name to it. Select the bottom surface of the heater plate and name it as the heater. Choose the body selection option and select the two bodies and provide name to these domains. After assigning all the name selection. Once cross check all to see if any wall has been named twice. Right click on mesh and select update mesh. It will link the meshed cells with the CFD solver. Now close the meshing and proceed for solver setup in ANSI's Fluent. In part 2 of this tutorial, you will be able to see the solver setup process and CFD post-processing. Find the link of the tutorial in the video description. Thank you.